Hi, I'm going to show you solution for one of the serious problems with Apache NetBeans while connecting to Apache Tomcat application server. The problem is unable to start Apache Tomcat because the port is already in use. I like NetBeans IDE a lot. Every Java developer does because NetBeans is beautiful IDE with respect to Java core applications and web applications. There was no such problem with NetBeans till its version was 8. But after NetBeans version 8, NetBeans was acquired by company Apache and became Apache NetBeans. The current version of Apache NetBeans is 12.1. Since its migration from NetBeans to Apache NetBeans, regularly there was problems connecting to web servers, especially Apache Tomcat. The exception is the port is already in use. In order to fix this problem, initially I read so many blogs and uh, I've seen so many videos. Initially I tried to change the ports. You don't believe at least 20 different ports I've used, but still the problem remains the same. And then I tried to find out which software process is blocking the port 8080 or 8081 and so on. There is no software service which really blocked that port. So why am I getting this kind of exception? Who is not allowing me to start the Apache Tomcat server? I became hectic and uh, it has taken nearly 10 to 15 hours for me to fix this problem because I need it. I was very much need with the software at that time. Apache NetBeans connecting to Apache Tomcat. It has taken that, that much amount of time and I felt the solution would be really helpful for many people who are doing application with respect to Apache Tomcat. This is a problem. The port is already in use. What you should have tried that are changing port numbers that won't help you. And uh, first thing that you need to check, do you have any improperly uninstalled versions of either Tomcat or NetBeans? You please check it out. Please check it out any service that is running. Go to administrative tools and check it out. The services, whether any previous versions of Apache Tomcat is running. Please find out. Because you can install more than one Apache Tomcat in a mission. You just check it out. In case if there is no such thing, the second biggest problem could have been the main reason which is blocking you to start Apache Tomcat software mismatch this is the problem that i didn't that identified with respect to my computer i found there was a software mismatch in my computer and uh, i cleared it and fortunately it worked for me this is what that i am going to show you in practically i'll show you everything please follow the same instructions so that you'll be able to run apache tomcat in apache netbeans without any problem make sure your JDK version is 15 or above. Don't use JDK versions below 15. Below 13, absolutely no. Apache Tomcat should be 9 or above. Currently 10 is available, but for me 9 worked well. Apache NetBeans 12 or above. The current version is 12.1, 12.0 is still available, but absolutely no. Don't take 11, 11.1, 11.2, 11.3, no. 12 or above. Please use this configuration. I have used the same configuration. I will show you. I will deploy one application. I will create a web application project. I will execute one program, program and I will show you. Okay. I will start the service and everything I will show you. Now, let me show you. In my program files, Apache Tomcat is 9, JDK is 15 and NetBeans is 12. Of course, here version is not shown here, but this is NetBeans 12. Good. Let me start Apache NetBeans. I am using Linux Mint. The type of operating system it doesn't matter. Okay, use the same kind of versions according to the operating system that you are using, like Windows or Ubuntu, whatever it is. This is my NetBeans, and here let us add Apache Tomcat server. To in order to add Apache Tomcat server, here here I am searching the server option. Go to this one, add server. Here, please select Apache Tomcat. You can add any available servers, but here our intention is to do web applications relating to Java. We want Apache Tomcat doubtlessly. So press next. Here is a place where you need to give the server location. Browse to the place where you have already installed the Apache Tomcat. In my case, it is available in program files. This is the place. I'm saying it as OK. And here you need to give the password and uh, username and password. 
by the very first time if you are creating then automatically the user will be created you don't have to open any configuration files with respect to apache tomcat everything will be done right from here okay user will be created with the credentials manager iphone script role now say finish go to the services here services are available go to the servers and here you can see the apache tomcat right click on it and we need to change some properties go to properties right click on it go to properties and here you can see the server port by default it is 8080 let it be you i can guarantee you one thing 8080 is a default port for apache tomcat if you are getting an exception that your port is already in use then it is our mistake that we might running another version of apache tomcat or we might be using some mismatched configuration softwares mistake will be definitely from our side we need to clear it okay it's not that any other software is running in this particular port unfortunately if you do it of your own no software is going to occupy this port 8080 for an example microsoft office have their own ports and oracle database have their own ports and in the same way apache tomcat it has its own port 8080 no other softwares can do that so believe me if you are getting that problem then this the following video is the right solution for you this port it should be 8080 and let it be 8005 don't change the default setting let it be like that now one important thing that we need to do go to platform and here by default there is an option that is checked use ide proxy settings please uncheck it it is very very important ide level proxy settings please uncheck it after unchecking you can check it out the java version is 15 that is already linked with my apache netbeans and in your case if you don't have J jdk 15 then please install before you install apache tomcat 9 you need to install java 15 you please install it and link with your apache netbeans and then try with the apache tomcat 9 now we are done close it all right now let's attempt to start the apache tomcat it asked me to provide username and password it means that i am about to start my service okay. all right so we are done to check whether our service is running or not you right click on it you should see the options restart stop you can see that start is disabled means that it is already started successfully now we'll try to create one web project and let's look it out the output whether it is doing fine for or not we'll be knowing new project java with neven i need to go web application choose the web application give some name let it be demo project next and by default it uses the apache tomcat because i want the project has to select the service apache tomcat finish we are done our project directory will be created including web apps including web inf classes folder and web.xml file everything that project folder should have created for us now let's go to projects and check out the project files as it's done project is created now so this is our demo project here i'll create one servlet class let it be hello world is a servlet class that i'm creating and this is the default urls that i'll be using finish so this is a servlet class but i have a simple program in my desktop i'll just copy it the hello world program is already available and i am not giving an explanation with the program because hopefully you should have already good at writing programs this is a program very simple program upon executing hello world will be printed on the browser and the default browser that i am using here is google chrome and if you want to change this one to firefox or whatever the browser that you want you can change it since it's a web application the output will be shown on the browser now uh, before we run this particular file we need to build our project because all of our project directories have to be linked with the runtime environment they have to be loaded so we need to build 
first build it before you run the file build is success now i'll run this file run file because in the program the url pattern that i have used is hello world just say okay can see the output this is what we got from localhost you can check it out the port number is 8080 my project directory is demo project and hello world is a class name of course it's a url name url pattern that i have given for the class hello world that's all guys please follow these instructions you'll be very finely able to work with apache netbeans connecting with apache tomcat thanks for watching bye bye it is possible for us to host and upload many demanding courses on this youtube channel only if you support us by subscribing please subscribe switch on the notification bell stay connected and enjoy learning